Hey, what's up, guys? Lord Civic here, and today we're here to talk about the Penguin Episode 3. First episode was great, second episode was amazing, but this third episode right here was just master class, man. Oh my goodness. There were so many scenes where I, my I was just holding my breath. Like I was just so scared of like what was gonna transpire, what was gonna happen. Um, so like always, it's gonna be a spoiler-filled review. So if you haven't watched it just yet, please make sure to go and do that. And let's say that, let's hop right in. So episode opens with a flashback which the way that it's shown you don't really know it's a flashback of sorts the first tells is we should have known that the penguin wasn't going to really let victor just go and see his family like on the fly or whatever so that should have been the thing to notice then also they referred to bella real as the mayor elect because she hadn't been actually sworn in yet but um i didn't catch those two things and then when the explosions went off i was just like so confused i was like dang this place is like a shithole like p p uh, explosions are going off like more than once in the city like gotham is really a bad place but then it started to realize and i started to see the flooding and stuff like that i was like oh this is a flashback of like the penguin not the penguin the riddler setting all the explosions off across the entire city and we see victor's family just completely wiped out now not only did this give us a different shot to show that not only did i mean we, you already know it but like the penguin not ugh, sorry i keep saying the penguin the riddler's explosion that he did across the city not only affected the rich elite and the politicians and different stuff like that but it looks like the people that suffered the most at all is the people in the poor districts or the people that well i mean there was gangs we saw squid and different stuff like that but like a lot of people that were good or voted for her and wanted actual change like died and different stuff like that also you know scum or whatever you want to do gotham scum died as well but like uh well no squid was on top of the roof and i'm i don't know i don't know but like i love how this thing is established with victor's character arc of his dad you know not charging more for like car parts and victor and his sister kind of being like hey dad we can have like a better life we can live in a better blah 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 and his dad just wanting to be the good and he doesn't want him to hang out with like gangsters and blah 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 and now victor's hanging out with like arguably the most heinous villain in the entire city or one of the most heinous villains in the entire city and it just gives such a retrospective look at victor and like his complete arc honestly my theory is he's gonna die i i thought he was literally going to die in this episode at like two or three different points but um yeah no uh i think he's gonna die and like i just love how this thing is established with his family and different stuff like that uh the the, the guy who plays victor and his act the actress that plays his girlfriend were acting so freaking well in the beginning of the episode but regardless this is about the penguin i just went on like three minutes about victor alone and we're gonna talk a little bit more about victor but so much happened in this episode so first and foremost we could see uh pink the penguin or oz and uh, sophia trying to like you know uh brainstorm about what they're gonna do how, what drug they're gonna sell or whatever and i just love the relationship that's like built between them like sophia just does not trust him at all like it's crazy i mean nobody not not a lot of people really trust oz and we see that like every second of the show because like you know he talks himself out of every situation but like it's legitimately nuts how hyper aware sophia is and she says she isn't the hangman either so i don't know if i'm prone to like believe her maybe she got framed or is that what the penguin was saying that he framed her? i i don't know there's so much stuff going on but regardless um their dynamic duo is so crazy like they're they're they both are aiming for two different things and sophia wants like power but penguin wants power but like for different reasons and different stuff like that the the nuance and just the way that they go about each situation and like you can literally see sophia having fun i don't know if that's because she's cuckoo out of her mind or if she like actually actively likes oz and the different stuff that they're doing it kind of reminds me it's not the same it's not the same but it kind of reminds me of the dynamic of um kim and saul and better call saul now it's not the really same uh um dynamic because you know there's no romance involved and like with romance i feel like that add like a whole nother element in better call saul but like they're 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 doing really good so uh, my favorite sequences in the episode were you know the meeting with the drug lords like that was just really freaking cool and like 
Oz like owe that guy money for like cigarettes, but once again, Oz Cobb, the most lucky man on the in entire city of Go Gotham, is able to just talk him way out of the situation and is able to um get a sit down with the head honcho boss and like show basically what the worth of the drug bliss now there's a lot of different stuff that goes into it i'm not going to skip over the whole sequence with um them catching the underboss in the hotel room so first and foremost i love that they like oh god it's just like so well planned and i love storytelling breaking bad and better call Saul does this so much like i love storytelling where like the main characters go to an area you know a loose idea of what they want to accomplish but like when he walks up to the uh the boss's wife I, I i forgot that's what she looked like or maybe they didn't really ever show her face fully but i didn't realize who she was exactly but then when they went to the bedroom and you know you know you saw the underboss and her getting busy i was just like wow this is a really interesting um angle that they're taking because you know he had the photos he was going to use it to uh to basically get Vito killed or whatever but Regardless, he goes about that thing and like him, I love, 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 love so much that like when they're trying to figure out and like make the call or whatever, Sophia like throws the phone towards Oscop and he, she has this like smile across her face of like, yeah, I'm having, <laughs> I'm having fun doing it. And like, you, you think that's like a very easy thing to do, but like. The, the, it literally looks like genuine happiness and genuine fun. I know that's actresses and act actors jobs but like that was that was really freaking good um also penguin wanted to kill um vic in cold johnny vic or johnny Vito, whatever his name is sorry i keep pronouncing his name but he wanted to kill him in cold blood but like he wasn't gonna kill him because um sophia was right there um and i guess he didn't want to show that he was like a cold-blooded killer and she probably connected i'm pretty sure she still thinks he killed his brother but regardless like that whole sequence was just really freaking cool and i love how he manipulated him and like he literally first of all he's so mean to sophia when he threatened sophia v um johnny Vito, to like if you don't go to italy i'm gonna tell people you want to Italy. like he was saying oh i'm gonna kill you or whatever but anyway that was crazy then the whole sequence in the club was just the whole a series of events that happened was just so freaking good like victor before having you know like the sit down at the apartment while sophia and oscar are doing it and him seeing basically the life he can have with her like she actually genuinely makes him happy or whatever but he's conflicted because gosh he's Vic, i know it shows about penguin but victor is like a complex character because not only like you know because of his stutter and just like all the feelings and stuff that he goes through but he literally lost his family and he lost his family because his dad i'm not saying it's his dad's fault that um they're dead or whatever but let me let me let me let me, let me um brainstorm and talk about what probably went through victor's mind they are in the poor district of town the people in the poorest district of town were probably the people that died not the people in the high rise or way out of the city or whatever or the richer people or whatever they probably didn't suffer as much as the poor people but because of this he was in a dangerous area when he died he also thinks his dad could have made so much more money based off of his car business and different stuff like that and he doesn't like squid because you know his dad told him not to and different stuff like that but squid is the one that survived a lot of the gangsters and a lot of people were set up in specific locations where they weren't in danger and different stuff like that and he has this almost twisted view of the world that like he never made money but now with the penguin doing evil doing everything against what his dad said he's actually succeeding in life and like he's happy but in a twisted way but then again he sees this life that he could have with his girlfriend he's just like i can't get out like the penguin's gonna kill me but honestly i i don't think he realizes how much the penguin cares for him and loves him i honestly like even if he left i don't think oz Cobb was gonna send people to kill him or whatever or go and kill him himself like i generally thinks he cares for victor and because of that we got the best acted sequence in the entire series so far i'm telling you that sequence in the back room where they were just going off on each other like just yelling and different stuff like that the tensions were so high and like it was honestly one of the best acted scenes I've ever seen in anything like comic book related. I honestly would say it's not like the best acted scene I've seen in everything ever, but like when it comes to comic book, like movies and TV shows, just downright stellar. Colin, Colin Farrell, 
and all the other actors and everything everybody they're acting their freaking asses off but um that whole sequence just like so much happened like i i it, it was so complex and i was trying to listen to every line of dialogue and let everything like hang on for a second but like it was just so much and i didn't want to pause it because like i wanted to absorb the emotions and everything that was happening in the sequence like normally i didn't want to just keep skipping back when oh this was said it was like oh like that and there's all that i just wanted to enjoy it like all for its full potential and everything and like oz manipulated him i'm, I'm sorry i'm yelling like the emotions my emotions are getting high oz manipulated the hell out of victor in that sequence he knew he was gonna come back or maybe he had a hinting suspicion you can see the upset on his voice but i'm pretty sure that he knew exactly maybe he did it involuntarily that's what he's saying he uh, not what he's saying he's so good at manipulating people he even does it when he doesn't know he's doing it um and like Albert, it's so funny. Falcons are usually the people that see through this BS. Alberto saw through it immediately, and that's why he killed him. Sophia sees through it all the time, and he—it's not gonna kill Sophia because you know he has. She just has so much use. Like, it, 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 he's rising up in the ranks and doing just so much. But like that whole, like that whole sequence in the bathroom alone was just phenomenal. And then also like to top it off, all the drug trade and all the different stuff. And I just love seeing what I love. Well, I love seeing it because it's just a TV show, but like it was really sad to see, but I also love seeing it. Victor's PTSD with the explosions, all the light shows and everything going off, like just phenomenal, phenomenal acting. Now, end of the episode closes out with, you know, the Maronis basically running up on Penguin. Honestly, I thought that he was screwed. Um, I didn't really know where that situation would go. I was thinking that they were probably gonna kill Sophia, which I was like gonna be really sad about. But Victor, just like uh, the Penguin, didn't plan or did he plan? I don't know. I guess we'll see later in the series. But Victor comes back. He hits one of the men, and the Penguin is able to escape. Now, with saying that, Victor, not Victor, the Penguin just told uh sophia that he's trying to gain her trust and she needs to learn how to trust him he just left her with the maronis what the hell is gonna happen and the episode literally just ends there like i was just like oh dang we're gonna see getaway and he's like we're really in it now yeah victor is really 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 into it like they are i have no idea where this episode is gonna go like this is some scary scary stuff but like so much to happen episode and like as i said like i can't really talk about i mean i can make these videos like 30 minutes long if i want to talk about like every single freaking minute of the show but like just so good just so 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 freaking good that was my favorite episode by far and like we still have five episodes to go like i just have no idea um where to go if i had to give a rating i would honestly give this a nine this is the highest episode that i've rated so far in the series but i love it love it love it love it love the batman so much and the penguin is just doing a really really freaking good job so anyway thanks for watching and bye guys